So you finally have your whole scene set up just the way you like. You have a camera set in place. You have your light set in place. Let's say you have your little object in this, and since I'm using a cube, but it has the shadows and everything is set up ready to render. Um, I go into the camera, but you know, how do I render this out into like whatever format that I'm needing? Let's say if I need it to be a PNG, uh, a JPG, a TIFF image, or even an MP4, how do I go about doing that? To export your render in Cinema 4D is easy as going to this top corner here. If you remember how we rendered a viewport, except we're gonna go to this third option here, which is the clapper with this little gear icon. It says edit render settings. We're gonna click on that right there. It's gonna open this window here. And there's a bunch of options that you see off the first base, but we're gonna ignore most of that. We're gonna only worry about this top section here from output all the way to options. So in the first section output, we can see like our basic dimensions of our render. Like, okay, do you want the width to be 1280 by 720? Do you wanna lock the ratio? The resolution, I tend to leave that at 72. I don't, you don't normally need to mess with this unless you plan on printing. You can change other stuff like the film aspect ratio. So if you plan on rendering widescreen, that's something you can change there. Frame rate of your animation, let's say this is animated if you wanna change the frame rate of the output. And also frame range. So this one is very important that you keep track of what option you have selected. If you're only doing just one picture, current frame is perfectly fine. In terms of save, this is where we're gonna set our output destination. So in this case, I don't plan on doing any crazy, you know, I don't need to be high quality and you know, no compression or that. So I'm fine with doing a JPG or I can easily do a PNG sequence, you know, and I don't need to change the bitrate. If you need to change the bitrate, that's up to you. 8-bit is just fine for this rendering. So I'm gonna go into this file, click the three dots right here. Oh, not that one, that right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save this to where I wanna save this to. We're gonna save this to, well, you know what? Let's save it to my desktop actually. Not my downloads. My desktop, we're gonna name this mm, test render. That is not a good spelling. Oh my gosh. We're gonna save that. So now it's gonna save our file to my desktop as test render as a PNG format. We're gonna exit out this now that we have all of our output details set. I'm gonna exit out of this and go ahead and go to this button here. It's gonna say render to picture viewer. I'm gonna click that. It's gonna open another window and start rendering our scene there. You can see that it took only about, in my case, it took two seconds to render that. It depends on your computer, how long it's gonna take. This looks exactly how it looks like when I rendered in my viewport. Let's go check and see if it actually rendered to the destination that I set. The easiest way to do that is by right clicking on your file and going down to show file and explore in the finder. And that's gonna show you exactly where you saved it. I have mine, oh, where is it? Right there, test render. If I open it up, it looks exactly like how it does in viewport. And before you go, hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and if you have any topics that you want covered in Summer 4D, go ahead and comment it down below and I will make a video on it for the next day.